rose in a box, wrapped up in dreams, a card that explains how much your love means. Table for two, soft candlelight, the words I love you, somewhere in the night I meant to do that. Does that mean a thing? If you wanted songs, then I meant to sing. I'd give you the world if you'd give mine back what I didn't do. I meant to do that. Late in the night, Nothing to say, maybe a call to talk anyway, a letter or two, some words that write, promise to love, for now and all time, I meant to do that, does that mean a thing? If you wanted songs, then I meant to sing. I'd give you the world, if you'd give mine back what I didn't do. I meant to do that. Hold on to the love you gave. Until the end of time And love you more every day Until you know that I, I meant to do that Does that mean a thing? If you wanted songs Then I meant to sing I'd give you the word if you'd give mine back what I didn't do, I meant to do that. What I didn't do, I meant to do that. I love you, Jamie. this time, I'm never gonna let Can you hear me? Hello. Okay, now I can, I can hear you. Okay. Hi, Ellen. Um, I was singing before, and I was thinking about thinking of a song on your voicemail. But I was practicing a song before I left it on your voicemail. So I didn't want to sound like shit. Practicing? Yeah, because I didn't want it to sound like shit when I sang to you. But you called me right in the middle of me singing, so I said, well, I'll just sing to her. <clears throat> but I didn't, then I, didn't, I didn't know if I was going to be able to hear you or not. So I said, oh, shit, I better stop and see if she can hear me. Or see if I can hear her. I didn't hear it. You didn't hear it? No. Huh. I think it's just headset. I don't, I don't think it's my service. I think it's just headset. It's been doing it the last few days. It's like, it's like most of the time, people can hear me and I can't hear them. So I'll have to tell them to call me back. Then they call me back, and um, well, it's been some little time I've been able to hear them. But then I have to call them back so they, so they can hear me. So then I can get a different headset again. Well, which is actually, this is the cheap headset that I got. So I gotta go get another good one. I took the other good one back because, well, because it had a, uh, thing on the back of it 
was popping off. So I was like, oh, I'm going to take a bag and, and get another one in. I'll get that one. So I can see if they get another one in yet. I'm okay. sorry for being selfish. I'm sorry for being a selfish asshole. Right. Honey, please believe me. I am sorry for being a selfish asshole. I keep forgetting how hard it is on you to be in the position that you're in. Didn't you say this sorry. last time? No. We didn't have a last time. This is actually the first time. We've been upset, but we haven't taken a break. Yes, we have. It's not since you've been there. Yes, we have. No, I don't remember it. Your memory is better than mine, so see we have, we have, so. We had two breaks since I moved here. <clears throat> two? You've only been there a month and a half? Two months. I guess two months. Two what months does there. that tell you? We haven't had two breaks since you've been, since you've been there. Yes, we have. You've only, you've only been there two months. Yes, we have. I don't remember two breaks. I called off the engagement, that's one. Well, maybe... I don't know, I'm... I'm forgetting. I Before I called on the engagement, there was a short break, that's <laughs> two. Maybe it's just because I want to forget about it. But I love you, and I'm sorry. And now we are on break time. number three. I mean, we're not on a break. These breaks going to stop. I mean, we're engaged. We, we, what are we going to do? Are we going to do this when we get married? So we're going to take a break? We Come aren't on, married please. yet. So? We're engaged. We're still not going to be able to do that when, uh, when we're married. So why not get out of the practice of doing that? If you do to... this when we get married, then yes, I will. <laughs> I'm not going to do this when we get married. Everything is be out in the over. It. I don't know. Is... Don't be getting all tough girl on me. You don't need to be doing that. Will called me and talked to me. Oh, God. What? Oh, we had a nice talk. And? And we had a nice talk. It was a good talk. He, he helped me out. And, And he helped me oh, so it's with... okay for you to do it? I didn't want to at first. And then I started thinking about what you had said. And uh, he, he said some self-helpful things to say. And he did. He helped me out a little bit. He helped me to, helped me to see a couple of things on how hard it is on told me he was going to talk to you. I guess he didn't talk to you. He hasn't yet. I wanted to be left alone. I 
I am sorry for everything. I love you. You good. I really hope you know that I love you more than anything. And I'm, I'm sorry that I get so upset about some things that really just mean a lot to me. I hear it all the time, Lorne. I'm tired oh, of hearing on. it. Empty words. Come on, Jamie. The, this is what you do is you tell me the empty words. They're not empty words. I love you. That's about the only words that I can say that covers everything. I love you. Sometimes I'm an asshole and I'm sorry. I know it's not easy on either one of us not being able to be together. I don't know it's especially hard on you what you're having to go through down there. You expect me to change every aspect of my life for your feelings but can't stop doing the one thing I asked for. I'm not trying to change who you are. I'm trying to make you stop treating me like garbage. I don't want I don't want to treat you like garbage. I don't want to do that to you. you. I love I love it when uh, I love when we are getting I love when we are getting along so good. I, I fucking love it. But you, you tease me about Will you, you tease me about it. You do. This is something that I talk to Will about. I don't mind that you use me. Use it in the show to promote it. On the personal time, that's something completely different. Even Will said it's inappropriate. And he said it must speak that it's a good quality. Well, yeah, that does say that. But still... So with where it was made, the name of it, and where it was made, and made it, it's inappropriate. And he understands how I would feel like that. You are so selfish and self-centered you don't give a shit about my recovery or what I'm going through physically or mentally. All you do is complain about the things you aren't getting. You even ignore what you do get because you aren't getting everything. Just like a spoiled child. <clears throat> you don't tell me everything. When I ask you, you don't tell me everything. Oh, shut up. No, <laughs> why? Because I'm right on that? That has nothing to with what I said. I, I asked you about the doctors and what they say. And you tell me, and I don't ask you again because you see, you already asked me that. Yeah. What am I supposed to do, Jamie? I want details, but you don't give them to me. Right. Do you daily updates about how my health is bad? Uh, no, because you tell me every, every time I ask you, tell me, I just told you. You just asked me that. I ask, and I ask you every day, how do you feel? Do I need to explain my situation to you every day? You don't need to, no. But I, I, I ask you every you day, how you, I ask you every day, how are you feeling? You tell me you're fine. So what? So, I, I figured you tell me if there's something else that you want me to know, because every time I ask you about the doctors and... Um, your rehab and all that, 
You act like you get upset at me. So because I say fine, you can demand and scream to get things you want? I didn't demand and scream when you tell me you're fine. Oh, you don't? When you tell me you're fine? When I ask pictures, you how you feel, pictures, you say, pictures. Come up here, come up here, come up here. I'm sorry, I got frustrated. I love you and I miss you and I want to see you. Well, I want to be with don't you. Don't do this, don't do that. Do what I want or there's hell to pay. Pretty fucking selfish. I'm sorry for getting frustrated. But I'm supposed to put up with that. I'm sorry for getting frustrated. There should be no repercussions to your actions. I should deal with it and smile. No, you should talk to me about it. Both of, both of us cool down and then talk about things. If we're getting upset about something, let's talk about it. Instead of just blowing it off. I do and you argue about it and say I'm wrong and don't want to admit I'm wrong. About what? Spare me lawn. No, Jesus, I wish you would stop Everything. Spare me stuff. Everything. No, not every. No, not everything, Jamie. Yes. You blow off things that I say. But it didn't. But it no, didn't I don't. Matter. Yeah, you do. You. You call me silly, and then you blow it off. It might be silly to you because you know how you're feeling. And even though I tell you how I'm feeling... How can you claim to love off. me when you have something new to complain about with me every single day? I don't tell you I have something I've complained about one thing, well, two things. You being naked in front of no, Will? you didn't, Lorne. And the and Will don't. Okay, let's go down the list. Oh, God. Go ahead. My job, the show with John Michael Jr., Will Do, Will Doing My Nails, me wearing a bikini, me wearing a crop top, me playing cornhole, should I continue or is that enough to prove my point? Well, first of all, I can't believe you mentioned doing the show with John Michael Jr. But it's just one thing. Uh, I can't believe you mentioned the show with John Michael Jr. Right, ignore the point yet again. Yeah, I do come and I complain about things. Some of the things you Just ask me about. Just point out what yeah. you don't lean. Some of the things you ask me about. Like the John Michael Jr. thing. 
Just point out what you don't like. Ignore that it isn't one thing right. Honey, I'm not going to say that I'm wrong, that I'm right on everything. I'm not right on everything. It's one thing right now. Is that what you will say? No. I'm complaining about... You are hardly right, Lorne. By the We're way... We're in a relationship. Time is going to pass, and there's going to be other things that we complain about. You gonna make a list for when we're 50 years old or down the road? Tell me that I've, I've complained about this many things throughout the years. Oh, shut the fuck up, that's what you do. By the way, what? You make lists about every little thing I do. I mention things from last week you have to go back to months ago. You act like I should just forget your verbal and mental abuse because it wasn't today. And as I was saying, it's okay when Will is on your side, but you lash out and treat me like garbage when you think he's taking mine. Well, if it helps you, Will wasn't just on my side. Go figure that one. Will wasn't just on my side, he was on yours too. Here's more to the list. Taking to Will, the turtle song, not coming to see you, not sending all the pictures you demand, not responding when you want, not responding to your dick pic. It's every day and it never stops. Like I say, what was on your side too? And I'm sorry about, about wanting pictures. How come you get to decide when it's appropriate for will you be involved? But I didn't call him. He called me. Doesn't matter. Um, I wasn't going to talk to him. Doesn't chance the I was, question. I wasn't going to talk to him about it. But I was so upset. You are controlling and manipulative. I'm sorry about wanting pictures from you. I don't know why I'm saying sorry, because I'm not, I'm not sorry about wanting pictures from you, of you. I'm sorry about asking you for them. A lot, but it, 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 I just want to be closer. 
to you, Jamie. I don't get to see you, Raymond. I just want right to here we go, pointing out one little thing that you can't talk away and missing the overall story. What's the overall story, Lorne? The overall story is I love you. Incorrect. Uh, no. It's not incorrect that I love you. What's the overall story, Lorne? The overall story is, is I hate being away from you. I hate not being able to be with you. Incorrect. I try to, I try to do everything I can to try to be closer to you. And I get frustrated. And I'm sorry. You don't love me. You want to control me and change me into what you want. Bullshit. I love you. Because I don't agree with everything doesn't mean that I, that I don't love you. So I love you. Does screaming at me and bitching at me every day and throwing a fit every day bring you closer to me? No, it doesn't. That's me being frustrated. Well, that's because what I can't you do. do any, because I, I can't do anything about it. It's so frustrating. What's the overall story, Lorne? The overall story, Jamie, is I love you, and I get frustrated, and I'm sorry. Should I list more things you had an issue with in the past month? No. I'm sure you've come up with more while you, since you're sitting there. But it was only one thing, right? And you are stunned that I want breaks from that. Seriously? Stunned isn't the word, is it? You say, why do you want to continuously take breaks? Why not just talk it through? Because there is no talking it through with you. Yeah, there is. No, there isn't, Lorne. Two or three hours apart so we can both cool down and then be back on the phone talking to each other and talk it all through. Gives us both time to think. Instead of saying mean words to each other. Do you realize how loud you screamed at me earlier? How am I supposed to talk through that? That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Just, just if I scream, just tell me. Stop right there. We're taking a break. Stop for two or three hours. Think things through. Let's both calm down and think things through before we fucking start yelling at, at each other.
You deflect and flip things around. There's not taking for you. You tell me I'm wrong and I don't know what I'm taking about then I have to prove it to you. Then I get yelled at for always having to be right. When it's your fucking stubborn ass who can't be wrong. It's you that is the problem here. It's you that is the problem here. Huh? It's you that is the problem here. <laughs> it's not just me, Jamie. There are things that you ignore that I say, that you just blow off. You call me silly for it. To me, it's not silly. You scream at me if I take an hour to respond and you expect me to believe you will just be okay with me telling you to stop and talk again in three hours? Fuck off. See? Why are you telling me fuck off? See what? You ignored everything I've said and try to find parts you can argue so you don't look bad. No, I'm, I'm not. It's just the end part. It took me by surprise. Saying fuck off, and I, was like, I thought you were talking to me. If I start to scream, hang up on me and send me a text. No. Say, calm, tell me, calm down. I'm talking two or three hours. No. Okay, well, it is. That doesn't work with you. It was an ideal. That doesn't work with you. What do you mean it doesn't work with me? Why wouldn't it work? I listen to you uh, most all the other times when you say something like that to me. It works. I stop. And I think. I'll be told by you that quote, I knew you wanted a reason to get off the phone. No. To say long, stop, think. Quote, something else is more yeah. important. To long, you're yelling, stop and think and calm down, and I'll call you in an hour. Shut the fuck up. All right. I get an idea and... That's not how it ever works. We've never done it before. Yes, we have. Not if you just hang up and text me. We've never done that before. Shit the fuck up and listen. I have said before I will not be talked to that way and hang up. Guess what you say? I'll be told by you that quote I knew you wanted a reason to get off the phone. Quote something else is more important. Quote, you don't like being wrong. I don't need to teach you how to be a mature adult, you are 50.
sorry for the times I've been an asshole. I can't promise it'll never happen again. You are abusive and I'm tired of it and I can't take it anymore. You need a break so you can figure out what you want and what you need to do about your behavior. And I know what I want, Jamie. I want you. I want us. What I don't want is you to continuously tease me about will, though. It's not my responsibility to put you in time out when you're abusing me. Are you insane? I stop and think about this. I'm not you your mother. It, you don't think it's abusive to I'm me not when your you mother. teach me? Don't do that, because all you're doing is interrupting me because you don't want to hear me. You don't think that you're abusing me when you tease me about Wilda when you know Fine, let's that I've hear you deflect. Right? There's no, there's no deflecting, Jamie. Biggest thing that I've been asking you for since it was made was to n not to use it. Me saying so what the word will do isn't abuse lawn. Jamie, you tease me about the thing. No, I don't. You do too. Name you know the how much I don't like that thing. You know that I don't know how much I don't like Name that the thing. Teasing. Name the of course you want me to name the teasing. You're always you're always talking about it. No, I'm not. I, that wasn't technical. So I'll take that term always that word always as technical. If you can't back your claims, then why should I accept what you say? You talk about it a lot. A lot more than, than what is appropriate. Especially to your fiancé. It's not something that he wants to hear about. Because I can say something like this, Lorne, you do this all the time, this and that, but I will never mention when. So what does that prove? Why is it so hard to not use that thing? Why on earth would you throw all the other ones away just because of that one? You see how upsetting that is to me? You don't get to abuse me and bitch every day until I change whatever behavior you don't like. So, so that's what it is. Because I bitch about it, you tease me about it. I don't tease you, Lorne. Yeah, you do, Jamie. Did you throw all your other ones away? Name an example. Did you did you throw all your other ones away? Because I'm betting that you didn't. But you teased me that you did. Yes. How is that teasing? Okay, you threw all your other, other ones away. Why would you throw all your other ones away just because I say that I don't like Will Don't? But you said I was teasing you by saying that. What was your point? My point is, if you threw all the other ones away, then you just told me it's just because of my bitching. 
So I bitched about Will, though, so you threw your other ones I away. I threw them out before you had an issue, Lorne. How could you throw them out before I had an issue? When it was that same day that you made it. No, I told it you wasn't. I had an issue with I told you I had an issue with them. I told you I had an issue with you being there making it. Lorne, stop trying to make it out like I'm manipulative like you. It isn't the case. I'm not trying to make it out to be anything. I'm just trying to figure out why you would... Yes, you are. I'm trying to figure out why you would have such a hard time not using it. And what the point is, is of teasing me about it. You're teasing me because of X. That's not what happened. I meant it's because of Y. That's not what happened. So how am I teasing you? Because you mention it a lot, Jamie. You mention it more than I do, Lorne. You was even going to use it while you're doing our regular pump sex. Right, ignore what I said. But did I mention did, If I mention it more than you do, then that tells you that, that I have a big problem with it. That it's obviously affecting the way that I feel. So now it's you do mention it and you have a problem, but before I was teasing you and mentioning it all the time. Why can't you own it? That's your problem, not mine. I know, it's my problem because my fiancé is using one dildo that was formed from her ex-boyfriend that is living with her 24-7. See what I'm saying? See why I have a problem with it? We are talking about your abusive behavior, not actions of mine you don't like. If you're not willing to discuss your abusive behavior, then there's no point in having this conversation. I'm sorry for yelling. That was inappropriate. I'm sorry for being so upset. I'm sorry for not thinking before before I let my emotions out. What do you think is a bigger issue, Lorne? You abusing me on almost daily basis or me using a piece of plastic to orgasm? I don't abuse you on a daily basis. Damn near daily. <clears throat> Jamie, I know to you it's a piece of plastic, but it's not to me. Shut I don't, up. Why can't, I, don't, I don't know why you can't understand that. Listen.
I said almost daily basis. What did you do? You ignored the point and said I don't do it daily. This is what you do every single fucking time you are confronted with how you abuse me. I didn't hear the word almost. You deflect. I apologize, I apologize for not hearing the word almost. <clears throat> Does that matter? Does that change my point? You just did it again. What did I just do? I just apologize for not hearing the word almost. How could I possibly have done anything wrong there? Missed the point and said I didn't hear almost. I don't even know what the hell I did there wrong there. Right, of course not. You've been deflecting to stay away from your behavior and how you treat me. Honey, I did not hear you say the word almost. I am sorry for not hearing it. I am not deflecting on anything there. I'm apologizing to you for not you hearing the word the point. almost. What's the point? That I'm, that I'm deflecting? Abusing me once it too many times, but you do it almost every day. not what I want to do, Jamie. That's not the way I want to be with you. I don't notice when it's I do it. It's funny how you get to pick at things like I don't do it every day, but when I do that, you say when I say all the time, I don't mean all the time. Well, funny, right? No, that's not funny. It, it's the way I was Hypocrisy. raised. Hypocrisy. It's the way I was raised. It's not. It's something, that's gonna, it, it's something that's going to take some time to get out of that that's habit what of doing it's that. Called. Well, it's a habit. It's, it's going to take me a minute to get out of that. You can do it, but I can't. No, you can. You most certainly can. just I don't notice when I do it because it's out of habit for so many years. Right, sure, shut I'm, up. I'm, I'm trying to change that. Lorne, should I be engaged to someone who abuses me? Be engaged to me. Lorne, should I be engaged to someone who abuses me? That is not even a fair question to ask. Lorne, should I be engaged to someone who abuses me? That is not a fair question to ask. Lorne, should I be engaged to someone who abuses me? If you don't want to be engaged to me, Jamie, then tell me. Lorne, should I be engaged to someone who abuses me? No, and I'm trying not to. You've said that for five months, no. Jamie, we both have been changing for each other. You haven't changed shit. Jesus Christ, I knew you were going
always excuses for you and demand to me. That's abuse. How many more months should I be abused? And I'm, trying to change a, I'm trying to change a lot of things for you and for us. I swear to God, Lord. If you promise this or that right now, I will go metal. I'm trying to change a lot of things about myself, for you and for me, and for us. I'm not going to, it's not something that's going to come at the snap of a finger. This is the same fucking conversation every couple weeks. Yeah. Doesn't matter what I say, it's not going to be right. You know what's funny, Lorne? There ain't nothing funny about this. The change isn't instant for you, right? Yet you demand it be instant with me. Imagine that. Well, you've got a point. That's abuse. You've got a point. But I mean... Tell me so again, thing. I ask, how many more months should I be abused? But nothing, Lorne. How many more months should I be abused? I'm not gonna abuse you. Spare me, you said this last time. So you say spare me all the time, or just about all the time. Not technically. Often, you say. Because I have often. heard it month after month after month after month. Why wouldn't I say spare me? Because you say it often. When you say spare me, it means you Because don't I have heard it month after month after month after month. Why wouldn't I say spare me? Because it would be nice to know that you believe in me a little bit. Why don't you have let me down time after time after time? Why wouldn't I say spare me? I already told you why. Why do I have to keep saying this shit? Jimmy, that's just the same thing I could say to you. It's taking, it's taking us time to get out of our habits. Every time we have this conversation, you have a new excuse as to why you do what you do. I just told you, I can say the same thing to you. You keep deflecting and I do tea. I don't. Say what to me, Lorne? I, I could ask you, why do I have to know? 
fucking husk got a fucking question your ass, man. Jesus. Why do I have to say this time after time? Say what? It's taken us, it's taken us both time to get out of the habits that we've had. I haven't had it. to do anything. You just, you just told me that. Why should it be any different for you than what it is for me? I have to change who I am so your feelings don't get hurt. I'm in the same boat too. You aren't changing at all and continue to abuse me. Yes, I am changing, Jamie. No, you aren't, Lorne. Yes, I am. We are having the exact same conversation we had weeks ago. How is that change? You don't, you don't expect that we're going to have issues every, every, every once in a while. They get further and further away. You have issues every other day. Yeah, that's been a couple of weeks. That would be a couple of months. They go away. No, it hasn't. They go away the more that we, you know, that we are together. You haven't gone one week without a problem, Lorne. Yes, I have. No, you haven't, La. Okay. Do I need to go down the list again? No, I don't want to hear the list again. Right, don't want to be proven wrong again. No, you, you proved me wrong. But I don't need to hear it again. Uh, you can say it if you want to. It's going to make you feel better. You made your point to me the first time. Just want to talk out your ass about how much you've changed. You just said it's been weeks since we had a problem. That's a fucking lie. No, I said a week. I didn't say weeks. I said a week. That's a fucking lie. What was the problem that we had? Well, yesterday you had issues with multiple things. And what was that? Same thing I've had issues with since it was made. It's great I have to prove what I say, but you get to say vague things and not back them up more hypocrisy. No, I'm not being hypocritical. Yes, you are. No, no, say what you want to say. And I'm not going to say I'm perfect and don't say things right and don't do things right all the time. I know I don't. Okay, Lorne, how is this not hypocritical? <laughs> it's 
not hypocritical. I don't know. I don't really don't see how you can think it's hypocritical. I know I didn't. Uh, Lorn name when I teased you. I can't, I don't have Tibor. Lorn, it hasn't been a week since we fought. Name when it happened. Okay, that was, that was super critical, sorry. I know it was dipshit. See what I have to do all the fucking time. about yelling at me for wanting to work and then turning it into I need to come see you. That was days ago, but it's been a week. Spare me. There's no way that I'm going to tell you that. That I'm not uh, upset about not being able to see you. And I don't blame it on you. I blame it on me because of the position I'm in. And it really upsets me. There's nothing more that I would want than to be with you. Ignore the point and don't accept the wrongdoing. Talk more about your feelings. What's new? It's not what I meant to do. What I was meaning to do was say that I'm sorry for getting on you about coming up to see me. If you meant that, you'd have said it more on. Um, Sorry, I didn't no say action, right. all deflection. Sorry, I didn't say it right. Lord, I love you, Jamie. Sets me a lot. I can't see you. Who cares how Jamie feels? Who cares what this is doing to her? Who cares that I'm abusing her? All that matters is what you feel and what you want. Is this fake crying so I'll move on? No, it's not. You don't deserve me. No. I'm not crying, so you move on. You don't deserve me. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. It's 
I deserve someone that's better than me. And I deserve someone less than me. No, you deserve for me to be as good to you as, as you are to me. And I'm trying to get there, Jamie. I'm screwing up along the way, but I'm trying to get there. You screw up all the fucking time. Do I deserve to be with someone who abuses me just because you think you deserve someone better than you? No, and that's why I'm trying to change myself so I don't do that stuff. You've been saying the same shit for months. When will I see results? All I can tell you is they're coming. They're happening even as we speak. You've been saying that. Yeah, well, what do you want me to say? There's only so many answers I can give you. I'm, I can't tell you now. And Remember and, what and it was can, last time. I can't tell you that it's going to happen right now. Remember what it was now, last time. It'll never happen again. Remember what it was last time? No, I don't. It was probably the same answer. But I can't tell you that it's going to happen right now and it never happen again. All I can tell you is I'm trying. I'm trying to not get frustrated. The only issue I have is that number and now it's gone and it will only be good from here on out. I'm changing and you'll see it. Remember that? Yes, and, and I know you Remember you've seen what it, I said? I said yeah until the next issue. What did you say? Probably said there isn't going to be a next one. And I shouldn't exactly. have said that. I shouldn't have said that because we're in a relationship. And it happens. Constant verbal abuse doesn't happen in healthy relationships. So I have to just accept being abused until you decide to change? No, I'm changing. I am changing. You aren't. I, yes, I am. I just proved you aren't. Why? Because, I, because this happened a couple of weeks ago? Yes. Before that, it was, it was kind of every other day. So I guess somewhere along the way, I'm changing. Because it went from every other day to a couple oh, of weeks. Oh, shit, the fuck, yo. Well...
Sean, shut the fuck up. Seriously, that is such stupid childish mentality. Jamie, I am I am changing. I know I'm changing. I know that I'm getting better at dealing with everything. I ran into a problem that I just couldn't help it. When someone is abused, does it make it less hurtful because they don't do it every day? It's only every other day. No, it doesn't. Then why do you keep saying that like it's something to be proud of? Because I'm proud of myself for changing. You haven't. Because I know I'm getting there. You haven't. Is it less do I need to explain it again? Is it less hurtful that you uh, that you call me silly? Do I need to explain blow? it again? Don't do that. Is it less hurtful that? When someone that... is abused, does it make it less hurtful because they don't do it every day? It's only every other day. No, but is it less hurtful when you call me silly? Are you still and Andy? Blow... Gee, why are you not giving me my turn to say something? Why is it, how can it be less hurtful when you blow off something that I say? Because you are deflecting. What am I deflecting on, Jamie? Are you still abusive? I was today. Are you still abusive? And I, I was today, and I'm sorry. I know that doesn't take away the hurt. What about yesterday? Yesterday was where I started hurting. What about the day before? The day before, we were fine. No, we weren't. What happened the day before that? You yelled at me that night. What did I yell at you for? What does that matter? Well, because I don't remember yelling at you. That's fine, I do. What did I yell at you about? No, I don't have to give examples, you don't. No, true, you don't have to. So again, you want to look less bad by saying just today, but you have been the past few. No, I'm not going to say I look good when I... Uh, Are you still I, abusive? I have been, yes. I'm not going to say that I haven't been abusive, verbally abusive, and mentally abusive for my own selfish needs, and I'm sorry. Trying to change it. Should I be with an abusive man? Jamie, that is not a fair question to ask me. It's very fair. What Answer do you want it. me to say to him? Being kind of demanding there, aren't you? Yes or no? No, you shouldn't, and I'm trying to change it. Bye.
Wow. I love you too, boo. I'm gonna make you proud of me. <laughs> the preceding announcement has been paid for by the Lawn World Order.